I'm Sim Plays That, and welcome back to some Quantum Leap CK2. Uh, so when we last left off, we were having the various invasions of um, England, uh, pre-Norman England. We're in 1068, and we're still Anglo-Saxon, so I suppose that's good. And we will be continuing in our adventures as Edwin. Sure, it's Edwin. Uh, and so we will carry on from here. And we've recently just appointed all of our minor titles. We had a daughter, Singef. Uh, we still, I still haven't figured out how to pronounce that correctly, but that's perhaps a secondary issue at this point. Um, okay, so we're slowly. Some, my liege, during my stay in Warwick, I found a great philosopher who's agreed to help me with studies. Sit in hearts. Eighty gold. No, that is outrageously expensive. I have to agree with myself. Um, such a, that's a thing that I do. Oh, well, he took back that land rather quickly, didn't he? Um, oh, no, why have you done that? Although maybe he has, like, a fighting advantage. Maybe he has, like, competent generals. That could be a whole thing. Uh, who was the... It was Edward the Confessor before Harold. Yes, I see. I see. Don't quite know what that nickname is meant to mean. Does that mean he confessed a lot to the priests? Or he was a very particularly holy and virtuous person? I don't know, to be honest. It's not an especially interesting thing for how these people get their nicknames. They got them in a variety of ways. Uh, Hodrada, Hodrada really, means um, hard ruler in Norwegian or in Norse. So that's where he gets that name from. Um... In case you couldn't tell, I'm not a uh, Scandinavian, and I'm not particularly Anglo-Saxon, though I do have an English accent. Um, so some of these are going to be difficult if we remain Anglo-Saxon. I'm from more this region of the world, probably, when you look far enough back. Well, not that far altogether. Um, so, yeah, not really that much to report right now. Um, are there any interesting factions? No, just the same Prince Bishop who's... oh. Well, he's possessed. I mean, I can't have him in the court. He's fucking crazy. That would be a bit of a deal breaker, really, wouldn't it? Oh. Uh, who did we beat? Well, we beat... Well, he's going to remain William the Bastard forever. Couldn't even be the Conqueror. Yeah, I feel relatively secure. I'm glad I gave myself all this land when the king told me to distribute his land. Which... When you think about it, it was probably a bit of a mistake on his part, because now I'm, what, a triple duke, I'm the chancellor and the commander. I have a lot of things going on. I've got big stuff going on. Ooh. There's a lot of interesting things here. Yeah, I'm going to initiate that. Oh, no. I did a mistake. Oh, dear. Well, this is screw me too bad. <laughs> what a stupid mistake. Ah, I'm going to get shouted at in the comments. That's fine. That was my bad. I probably shouldn't have done that. To be honest, uh, if someone betrays... The only way I'm going to revoke anyone's title now is if they betray me. And, well, okay. Is there any, any chance that I'm going to... I can't raise troops there. Actually, that's a thing. How much... How good are, is Reading? Well, I'm from there, so I can tell you it's not that great, but beyond that, um, not that I, yeah. Not that I have anything against Reading. Reading's lovely. I grew up there. It was relatively fine. Um, he's the leader of a plot. What bloody plot is he doing? Fabricate a claim. Yeah, um. You're craven and weak. I'm not even going to bother. Are you not going to end your plot? Is that what I'm going to... Okay. Well, then. I have to at least wait for the war to end. Request council support. I mean, he'll owe me a favour. And a favour with the king is a big favour. I mean, you'd assume. And I'm going to assume that we're agnatic elective. So does that mean... That I can nominate myself. Or does it have to be... Oh, okay. 
it can be me and then you want to a claim apparently so duke edward can i not well, i don't understand why can't i do it this is absurd surely i should be allowed to inherit well, on that basis alone, then I'm going to go for more car. Duke Leofin, Duke Gurf, Duke God, Prince Godwin, Duke Gurf. That's an awkward name. I'm sure it's pronounced Garth. But it's funnier for me to pronounce it Gurf for a variety of reasons. Um, so we continue. Well, to be honest, I'm not going to do any factionalism anyway. And I have a non-aggression pact with my liege, so I can't found any factions, so I wasn't really in that business. Mm. Yeah, we're going to need... See, I want the keep, so I need them gold, so I'm going to have to wait. Or I can improve my other holdings, which is something I neglect to do, so... Um... Let's move, let's move him to Leicester, and let's build some militia, no, okay, let's build castle fortifications, because it's cheaper, and so we're going to do some, in the long run investment, levy reinforcements are high, that's always fun, um, pressure to Westmoreland, oh, I would like Westmoreland. So yeah, we've already improved this character's position quite strongly. I would suspect that, and for the better as well. So, you know, this won't be, you know, something you can see on a map, like the long-term effect of this character being improved. But, you know, who knows, maybe we'll see an of Weiss King of England. I'd hope so. I, you know, I'm not going to get attached to the character purely because uh, that's kind of defeating the purpose of this game. But... You know, yeah, this should just about wrap it up. But Anglo-Saxon England, already fun, already fun old history. Anglo-Saxon England is the best England. None of this filthy Norman business or any of that weird Norwegian stuff. Hmm, what's wrong with him? Cancer, oh, cancer's not ideal. I also do like the cancer symbol, is a... Um, is a crab. Yeah, tumors spreading through their body, draining the life out of them. Yep, that'll do it. This character owes me a favor. I should probably, um, yeah, probably call that in. I request the king's excommunication. I feel like that's the original issue behind him being invaded, really. A regulated inheritance law. Fine, yes, as a favour, because I own that support. Uh, the war has ended. He's my brother, so I'm not feeling especially keen on taking West Milan from him. So that would make me some kind of real douchebag if I decide to go down this way. And again, he's much weaker than us. Lindsay, I'm sure that's Lincoln. Ah, City of Nottingham. There it is. It's going to ask why Leicester not even has a castle. I'm not even sure that Leicester has one. It would make more sense anyway. It's not the important thing. Sweet Fred is no longer steward, which the Mesna too big. Oh my God, Derby. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to look at. Which ones are the? Yeah. So this is a piece of shit, basically, is what I've understood. So, let's refresh the search. Yeah, we're going to get, we're going to invite a um, noble person. Oh, 42 gold, fuck me. Not even remotely worth the money just to pick someone I like. Um, Verastan, you could be Darby. Yeah, we're all really happy for you. What, what kind of dynasty? Doddington. I like the random dynasty names. Although the Islamic and Turkish ones have, are related to the name of the person, which I suppose does make sense because I didn't really have, um, you know, 
place related or um place related or uh you know job related you know surnames like smith or whatever that, that those are like job related surnames so uh during a visit to oxford oh uh, edric of shropshire and his entourage were accosted by brigands who made off with several valuables oh dear Efforts to catch the thieves have failed, and Earl Edric is now demanding compensation from Mayor Oswulf of Oxford. This is getting really... This is just becoming a weird drama now. We're going to become the Magnificent Century at this rate. Um, mm, well, mm, realistically, it is kind of the Mayor's job to keep the place safe, and I don't want to pay for it, so that's that's what's happening. That's what's up. So now, training, I want to keep 421 gold. That was actually probably a very clever decision because I want that gold. I don't know if the balance is huge. I can kind of chill on this. Provided our beloved king doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, appoint commander. I don't want to be a commander because that sounds like a lot of work. And I have a lot of stuff to do here, like bang my wife, so I have a son. Perhaps I'll even read them. Uh, well, let's see. Would he? Is this something? Well, he could use the learning boost, to be honest. But well, we're gonna we're gonna let that pass for now. The the man can continue to be poorly read. I'm sure his wife is. Yeah, his wife's much more well read than him. Uh, rejecting seduction attempts. That's good. That's probably what I want to see as the the person's husband. Like that. That's reassuring. I wonder if she has any bizarre... Oh, can be inherited. Well, I'm going to have an Anglo-Saxon-Hungarian queen. Well, if if I was if I was going to continue as this dynasty, that would probably be... Well, that's an interesting idea. Well, very secure border here. You've got the river. Like, you could probably be very well defended, as long as you stayed within that area anyway. So there's not really many opportunities for expansion, just a bit of... If I wanted Westmoreland that badly, I could do that. And my guy is ambitious, so maybe we should be thinking about advancement and climbing that ladder. I mean, why, I just, I'm just a bit confused why I can't nominate myself. Ah, there I am. Yes. Yes, this is what I want. Now, is there a way I can... What can I do with a favour? Can I get them to nominate me? Although I guess that wouldn't last long enough. It's a shame, because I could just bribe everyone into supporting me. Um, ask for round peace. Oh, that is interesting. Well, because I fucked myself here. Which is not really that fun for virtually no benefit. Mm. That's very annoying. Bishop M. Emmerich. No longer my spy. Oh, I should pick someone who likes me. Okay, right. Not zero intrigue, though. Edelhide, spy master. That sounds helpful. Having my wife as my spy master, I can't go wrong. When has anyone's medieval wife hated them enough to kill them? Okay, yeah, now we need to do that. Scheme in Warwick. Do wish my capital wasn't Warwick. But then that's the hand we've been dealt. So how many of his family do I have to kill before I'm the heir? So who are the heirs? I'm second in line, so if I, oh, I can't though. There have been a shortage of reinforcing troops. That's always fun. Ah, yes, that has reminded me. Have we built the fortifications? We have. Back to Warwick for you, and let's build that keep. Only seven hundred and seventy days. How long does it normally take? Yeah, that's a pretty significant um, lot of independent opinions. 
Um, so what am I? Am I cynical? Do I have a particular opinion on it? Well, I'm not a particularly pious man, so be cynical. We're going to build that keep. So yeah, sorry if it's a bit boring. Oh, but on the plus side, we are now at war over Cumberland. I don't know why anyone would want Cumberland, but yet here we are. And I do like... I do like the anime portraits. I do use them. Um, so it's the um, you can easily find it on the uh, Steam Workshop if you're interested in having the anime portraits. Uh, it's not. It's just because the default portraits are just just don't look good to me, so I don't use them. Um, oh, he does look like a character from Digimon. Um, it's always fun. So yeah, we should probably win that war quite easily. Invest in a technology. So my usual instinct is to go for siege equipment or military organization. I think I'm going to go with siege equipment. Um, improved relations with Lord. I don't even know who the fuck that. Oh, that's me doing it for someone else. Uh, uh, you no, know, I don't want to owe people favors or people to, you know, have favours owed to me because I don't fully understand how to call them in. Uh, mission to Middlesex, awesome. Awesome, so the king has a much higher opinion of me. Supports different air. Uh, is a bit of a deal breaker, I should imagine, but... Oh, well... Ah, right, she's married to... And he's just... Yeah. Oh, she seems nice. She looks very smug, though. That is a bit... Queen Gifa turned faithful. Whoops. Well then, I'm sure he could divorce her. Although, when I last I remember, that was a bit of a sticking point in the church. So, and Pope Alexander II still. I'm pretty sure there was an English Pope at some point. Never be quite sure when he was. Ah, uh, well. Someone will know. Someone will know and someone will correct me. Because I'm sure there was an English Pope or a British Pope. Army of Oswulf, Norfolkian Peasant Revolt. I mean, there's just too many jokes to be made about that. It just become a bit unfair. Actually, on that note, do we have any particular... Why do we have revolt risk in Chester? What the hell's wrong in Chester? Peasant unrest. What the hell did you do? Oh, for fuck's sake. Just... Just park yourself in Chester, just to make sure we don't have any awkward rebellions. And so far, so good, really. I uh, could expel the jury, but I'm not... Um, one, I'm not a racist, and two, I'm not um, the top lord. Then again, you know, you do get a lot of money. I mean, if I was an independent, uh, independent character, I would... And I was in desperate need for money. I would borrow 300 then expel them because you get 700 gold that way. Although you do take a bit of a prestige hit and you look like a bit of a twat overall. But, you know, that's alright. Um, right, and we're going to stop it right here with this event. Uh, thank you for listening. And, um, and watching, sorry. And I'll see you next time.